Wide gamut inks, stable analog and digital devices are making multicolor printing increasingly demanded and adopted. Its advantage, of course, is high quality colors, but also reduced cost, ink cost, as well as machine cleaning and preparation time. I would like to use Alwan McDowell Suite to optimize my files and my printing conditions for seven color printing workflow. To do that, I will be using Alwan Color Hub in the pre-press to color manage file and optimize ink. In my Alwan Color Hub interface, I can choose my output profile. In this case, it will a CMYK orange, green, and blue profile, minimize my ink usage, and I want to convert all my spot colors to the output seven color process. So now all my input colors are color managed and optimized for my output CMYK OGB printing device. Now I need to make sure that my CMYK OGB printing device is stable. To do that, I will be using Alwan Print Standardizer, which is a print assessment, calibration, and stabilization software. In Alwan Print Standardizer, I will define the device, the printing device I will be using. So this will be my CMYK OGB printing device. I will assign my printing device profiles that I will have created, and I will set the aims and tolerances of my devices according to my desires. The aims are my profile solids, my profile TRCs. The tolerances can be for analog printing 12647-6 flexo tolerances, or for digital printing, they can be ISO 15339 tolerances. In all cases, Alwan Print Standardizer will be assessing uh, your um, uh, prints and correcting for any deviation from the aims. Let us see how my printing process is performing now. The measurement file I receive from any instrument or from the press inline or offline instrument show me that the print does not conform to ISO um, uh, conditions. When I look more closely to the response of the cyan, magenta, yellow, black, I can see important deviations in the magenta and yellow channels, and I can see that my orange, green, and blue channels are not linear as I desire. And print standardizer, in this case, will generate a tone response curve adjustment that can be applied on your production rib or in L1 Color Hub as well. Now that the tone response curve adjustments are applied on your rib or in L1 Color Hub, your jobs can be processed and the result of the printing can be assessed with L1 Print Verifier. As you notice, L1 Print Verifier uses the same target, the same aims, the same tolerances, and the same device job color tick. This shared information between the three and one software guarantees consistency in the, in the color management, in the process control, and in the color assessment of your jobs. As we can see now, that the file is optimized, that the press is calibrated, that the job is compliant with ISO standard. If I come back and look at a PDF file that is received for production, this PDF file has many spot colors that I do not have on my output process. I have here CMYK plus eight Planton colors, while my process is a seven color CMYK OGB process. L1 Color Hub color separation allows me to color separate and to optimize this file for my CMYK OGB process. 
The soft profile is not reliable, as most of you understand that Acrobat does not preview multicolor files, but the delta E, the difference between the spot colors and the CMYK OGB printing in these cases have been an average of two. This is what Alwan Magnol Suite can do for you, and this is the power of the new Alwan software suite.